Good morning students. Today I am going to explain how to simulate a sine wave by using this LabVIEW software. So I have to go to this file and click this new VI. Then I have to enter Ctrl T to split these two windows. In the front panel grey color window, we have to create controls and indicators. In the block diagram window, we have to select the functional blocks. Okay. So to generate a sine wave, we need two controls and one indicator one control for frequency another control for amplitude and to observe the output waveform we have to take one indicator in the front panel window that is waveform graph okay so i have to go to this uh, front panel window and right click here then go to this numeric control and select one control for frequency okay again i go to this uh, numeric control and select another control for amplitude okay then i have to take one indicator so i have to go to this graph indicator and select waveform graph indicator okay so i have to generate a sine wave for 50 hertz and 2 volts amplitude so i have to change the frequency value from 10 hertz to 100 hertz okay then i have to enlarge the size so I have to set the frequency for 50 hertz and amplitude for 2 volts. Okay. After that, I have to select the function generator in the block diagram window. So I have to go to this block diagram window and right click here. I have to go to this express. Again, I go to this signal analysis. Then select the simulate signal. Okay. Here, we are having many inputs. You have to choose whatever you want. Okay. Then I have to connect the frequency and amplitude to the input side. And in the output side, I have to connect the sine wave to the waveform graph. Then I have to run the program and observe the output waveform. Okay. If you want to change the color means, you have to right click here and change the color from white to whatever you want. Understand? I will explain the array in the next class. Understand? Thank you.